hello today i'll teach how to cyclically rotate an array by a distance of 1 so what do i mean by cyclically rotating an array by a distance of 1 let's say we have an array with values 1 2 3 4 and 5 our output should be we are going to rotate it by a distance of 1 right so we are going to move this 1 the distance of 1 we are going to move this 2 over here we are going to move this 3 over here we are going to move this 4 over here and then where will 5 go 5 has nowhere to go and since it is cyclically rotating this 5 will move to the beginning of the array so our output will look something like this 5 5 has come here 1 has moved to the next location this one two three and four so all the values have moved by a distance of one and the value which is at the end moves to the beginning of the array so now let's discuss the logic so i will create a variable called x and in this x i am going to store the value present at the last index so this x will hold 5 I'm going to keep it safe and then the next step will be I will traverse this array from the end towards the beginning of the array so while I'm traversing in this direction what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this value to the next index value so if I put 4 over here it will be like this now I move to the next location and I'll take this 3 and put it over here. This 3 comes here. Now I move to the previous location. I'll move this 2 over here. So 2 comes here. I go here and then take this value and put it over here. So 1 comes here. So when I reach the index number 0, I'm going to take the value present at x and I'm going to put it over here. So what is x? x is 5. So you can see we have got our required output. So this is how I am going to do. I am going to take the last element and store it away somewhere. Then I am going to traverse in this direction. I am going to move every element to the next index location. Once I reach the index number 0, I am going to take the value I have stored and put it at the index number zero so now let's write the code for this so i'll be creating a value called x in which i'm going to store the value present at the last index so x is equal to what is the value present at the last index we have the array the last index location will be length of the array minus one so length of the array minus 1 will give me the index location of the last element so i'll be doing arr and the index location where the last element is present is the length minus 1 so this was the first step in which i'm going to store the last value next step is to traverse the array in backward direction so i'll have int i equal to i have to start from the last location so what is the last location arr of length minus one so i have started from the last location and since we are going in backward direction it will be i minus minus so what is the condition the condition is we have to reach the index number zero so i'll say while i is greater than zero so now i have written a loop using which i'm going to traverse the array in backward direction let me write down the array again So now i is pointing at this location 
so in this location i need to put the value present at i minus 1th location got it in i i have to put the value present at i minus 1 so i'll put a of arr of i equal to arr of i minus 1 so the value present at i minus 1 will be put over here that is at ith location that is all we need to do inside the loop at first iteration 4 will come here next i becomes i minus minus so i moves over here now this is i minus 1 then again we are doing arr of i equal to i minus 1 so this 3 will move over here and then in the next iteration i will move over here i minus 1 will come over here and this way it will continue after this step what is the next thing we have to do we have to store the value present in x at index number 0 so that is what we will do arr of 0 equal to x now let's print the array if you learned something from this video please leave a like and consider subscribing to my channel thank you